Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to show you a very important concept in mathematics. This concept is called rounding off. Now, rounding off, you're going to be using it throughout high school from year 7 all the way to year 12. In fact, if you don't know how to round off, a lot of the time you're going to make mistakes because a lot of the questions are going to ask you to solve a problem and then round off your answer. If you don't round off your answer, you are going to lose marks, that's for sure. So let's see how to round off. Very important concept to learn and you're going to see it's not hard, but you need to know this concept very, very well. Let's get started. In these questions here, we have an example here, there, there, and there. These examples, the question is saying, round off to the nearest hundred. To the nearest hundred. Okay. We have to follow a rule. The rule is that when we are rounding off to the nearest hundred, we look to the number that's on its right and we ask that number are you a five or more are you a number that is five or more if you are a five or more then we can round up if you're a number that is less than five then we have to round down that's the rule and that's as simple as that so when we're looking at nearest hundred we look to the number on its right and we ask it this question are you five or more if you are we're going to round up if you are less than 5, we're going to round down. Let's see what we mean by that. Round off to the nearest 100. Where is the 100? There, 362. So we look to the number on its right. And we notice this number on the right is there. And we ask it the question. Are you 5 or more? The answer is yes, because this is 6. 6 is larger than 5. So therefore, we can round up. So our answer will be 400. The 6 had muscles to push the 3 up and it became a 4, 400. So 362 rounded off to the nearest 100 becomes 400. It rounds up because it is 5 or more. Another example, 753. We're asked to round off to the nearest hundred once again. Then we look to the number on the right of the hundred. The hundred is there. The number on the right is a five. The rule is five or more has enough muscles to push us up. So this number here, yes, it's a five, it's five or more. So it pushes the hundred up. Therefore, 753 rounded up because the five can push it up becomes 800. Another example, 549, we're going to round it off to the nearest 100. 549, we look at the number on the right of the hundreds column. This is the hundreds. The number on the right is a 4. We notice, hang on, this 4 is less than 5. It doesn't have muscles to push us up. So we round down. So it becomes 5 hundred instead of 549 we go down it doesn't have enough muscles so we round down the answer to the nearest hundred is 500 another example here 937 round off to the nearest hundred this is our hundreds column we look to the number on the right and we ask are you five or more no not five or more it's actually less that means we have to round down. So 937 to the nearest 100 becomes 900. It doesn't have enough muscles to push up, so we have to round down. So as you can see, it's a simple concept. We always look to the number of the right of what we are looking at here. We are looking rounding off to the nearest 100, round off to the nearest 100, round off to the nearest 100, 
and round off to the nearest hundred. In this case, in these two examples, the number on the right was five or more, so it rounded up. Five or more, it rounded up. The 753 became 800. While on this case, the number on the right of the hundreds column was less than five, so it rounded down. Less than five, so it rounded down from 937 to 900.